came today to give you guys some tips on how to slim your waist. So I'm actually going to Miami tomorrow. And so basically your girl has, I was in the gym, like I was doing my thing, but the past couple of weeks, um, I kind of have been slacking. So I've been needing to get my waist right and tight. And as you can see, you know, She's just, she's a little song song, that's a little song song. So I'm gonna share some tips with you guys on how to slim your waist. So first things first, I talk about this all the time. If you have been like riding with me on my weight loss journey, you already know, detoxing. Detoxing is so freaking important because look, what is in your system, if it's not detoxed out, is what you're gonna crave. So if you have been, you know, eating kind of wild and you just trying to flip the switch and just go like cold turkey like you gotta understand that the foods that you eat have an emotional response to your body and if you've been eating these things like habitually like that's what your body is gonna crave so it's gonna be very hard for you to make that clean shift over without getting rid of what's already inside your body so there are plenty of ways to detox you don't have to do like some fancy super expensive detox if you just want to do a really simple detox you can do water with cucumbers lemon and mint and it's super easy, it's super simple. You just kind of let those ingredients soak in the water and you drink that water. So that's a really easy detox. Of course, there are like other detoxes. I like to use the Yogi Tea Detox because I'm just like a tea detox type of person. Um, so that's what I do. But it's important that while you're detoxing, try to avoid the things that you are trying to detox. Like just because you are drinking your tea in the morning like your apple cider vinegar tea and then you still going to Popeye's busting down that chicken sandwich it's not gonna work so don't do that try to like eat clean while you're doing these detoxes for like the benefit the overall benefit the detox is just gonna make it easier for you to do those things and make those shifts and curb those cravings and make sure you're drinking plenty of water so you can avoid any bloating so moving on to the next thing that I'm going to be talking about, and that is waist trainers. As you guys can see, I have the waist trainer on. This waist trainer is from Lux Curves, and it is in a small, I know, right, a small, a small. So funny story, let me actually go ahead and tell you guys really quick. When I sized myself for this waist trainer, I was actually at 28 inches. And I was like in my gym bag, super heavy, like when I did that. And by the time it got to me, I had fell off for a couple of days. And so when I tried to put it on, I was like, yo, did they send me the wrong size? So I went and looked at the size shot again and 28 inches is a small, 29 inches is a medium. So I was right there in between sizes in these waist trainers and just falling off for a couple of days push me into like a different size category. So I was determined that I was gonna get myself into this waist trainer anyway and I couldn't do it that night. But like that next morning I did a detox tea like I was just talking about and I kind of like have been trying to get back in my bag and I it was able to get it on. It was very uncomfortable at first because like I said, I'm right there in between sizes. When you have something that's actually like moving, maneuvering and shaping your body, it's going to be uncomfortable if, if it, it's going to be uncomfortable at first, but it shouldn't be painful. Like it shouldn't be painful at all. And it wasn't. But now that I've been waiting for a couple of days, like I can get in here very easily. I know as time goes on, I'll be able to move to these different hooks. So this has definitely been getting my waist and my stomach looking on flat, flat like. If you have not tried a waist training, I would highly suggest it because if it didn't work, like everybody wouldn't be doing it. Duh. So yeah, I actually had like a workout waist trainer before this one, but I can definitely see this one actually changing my body like slowly where the other one is like, it just boosts the impact of my workout. So, and I haven't really been working out, so I've been wearing this one more often. Start eating your green vegetables, boo. Like green vegetables will get your stomach on fleek. I'm not even playing with you. I'm talking cabbage, broccoli, zucchini, green bell peppers. I don't know what it is about the green vegetables, but Something about them is just very detoxifying and it helps reduce bloating. Like, just make an effort to incorporate as many green vegetables as you can 
over a couple of days and see, don't your body be like, you're looking in the mirror like, damn, my mama, who is that? Who is that? Like, I'm not even playing. So, yeah, those are very simple, simple tips and hacks to slim your waist down very quickly. I didn't want to like come and give y'all like some super complex stuff that just felt like doing too much. Like, I mean, it's really not that difficult. And I know when I started my weight loss journey, like I just really overcomplicated things and made it seem so much harder than what it is. And I don't want you guys to think that you can't do something because it's not, it's, it's just, people make it seem so complex when it's not. 